Zero! Let's go see him! I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Not to worry. They're all for alchemical purposes. You'd be hard-pressed to find an everyday use for them. Well, on with the research. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. So, uh, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any... unique abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. You think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? That was your best effort? Hmm. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Uh, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. Cooking? Paimon was looking forward to more mad scientist stuff. Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. Hmm. Paimon bets you're just hungry. That does sound yummy, though. Okay, Paimon approves. Mm-hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. I'll leave you to it then. Looking forward to the results. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. How are we gonna channel elements?